Hello again YouTube and welcome to a very windy Just Get a Tesla and I'm having to cover the microphone because it's that windy but even with a baffle on it. Hello again YouTube and welcome back to Just Get a Tesla and on this week's episode we're going to test the hidden hill descent control that you didn't know Teslas had. So I'm actually sat in the car on the hill and having to drop B-roll in because it is so extraordinarily windy today that even with a microphone with a wind baffle on it, the wind was literally getting it so you couldn't hear what I was saying. It was distorted, it was horrible, which is why we're having to drop B-roll in of me walking up and down the hill and basically you not being able to hear me. It's one of the perils of YouTube, which is no matter what you think you've got in terms of kit, it probably isn't good enough when that lovely Scottish wind decides to blow. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go up and down the hill three times to test each of these stopping modes. So this is all about how the car behaves as it's braking, how it's blending the regenerative braking in. So I used to have it on creep mode, which is kind of how a normal automatic transmission works in a car. It will roll a little bit. You can then have roll, which is effectively neutral, roll when pedals are released. Or you can have hold, which I use now, which is effectively full one pedal driving. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with roll <laughs> and see how much rolling the car actually does effectively with the system turned off. Then we're gonna go to creep, then we're gonna go to hold, and we're gonna see just how much of a difference this hidden hill descent mode actually makes. So pass number one, we are on, just to show you, we are on roll mode. Let's see how this works. So I've lifted my foot off and the car is just rolling. That is not how I have the car set up normally. I'm on full one pedal, but like now it's just going. So I'm just taking my feet off <laughs> and let's see what happens. So it's giving me a little bit of regeneration, but it is only a little bit. So we're basically going down here at six miles an hour. So we'll go a little bit quicker than that. So regeneration is still there. It's still a Tesla, but it's much less controlled in this mode than it is otherwise. So if I lift off now at 13 miles an hour, the car is still slowing down. So it's still green there and it slowed me down to 10. Let's see how we do as we go down here. So I am completely hands and feet off. <laughs> I am letting the car do the job. And it does make a big difference because it doesn't know there is this ridiculous bend here. It knows there's a gradient, but it can't actually visualize it because we don't have full self-driving. So I am definitely covering the brake pedal now, but I haven't had to touch it. And we're going down here at basically nine miles an hour. And it's consistently staying at nine miles an hour. And that is really impressive. So again, hill, descent mode. This <laughs> is pretty good. It won't let the car run away down this crazy hill. It won't let it run away. You have to make a positive choice oop, about what you're doing. So I'm gonna have to go down here because he's backing out once I turn around. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of shunty shunty up here, aren't I? Rather than just doing a spinderella there as I would do normally. Okay. Where can we back it up? We'll do it there. So I had to go onto the brake then, and I very rarely have to use the brake in this car. It's just not a thing anymore. But there it is. It's gotta be said that this is not the most pleasant of turnarounds I've ever had to do. Is he going up the hill? Yes, he is. Okay. <laughs> See there? I think I'm going to listen. <laughs> when it says stop, that's probably a good idea when it's just a drop onto the boulders otherwise. So anyway, that is 
roll mode, nine miles an hour down the hill without any problems at all. Let's see what difference creep and then hold make. And this is, this is steep. This hill really is steep. So it's impressive that the car will not let you run away, despite me literally having feet off everything and just letting it go. But back up to the top, this is some hill. Walking up this is also fun. <laughs> Running up this hill, less fun. So we're gonna go back to the viewpoint car park at the top. We're gonna to repark the car. Am I gonna be able to get into the viewpoint car park? Uh, he's coming down and we're all gonna to have to shunt up past him. That's absolutely fine. So we'll swing back into here and change the mode and we'll do it again. Weird having to touch the brake again. I, oh, oh God, that's, <laughs> that's absolutely flying around. <laughs> uh, that was quite interesting. Um, okay, so we'll go to creep. Um, yeah, the way it just accelerated around, because it is a bit downhill, this car park, that was, um, <laughs> that was great. Okay, here we go again. So, trip two, this time we are on creep mode. So, it's still rolling around there by itself. And again, it's still rolling. So, I suspect it's going to be relatively similar behaviour to roll in terms of the way that it acts at slow speed because it is just that little bit of if you stop and then you lift your foot off it will creep you forward in fact we're going to test that when we get to the bottom so i think regen is sharper on this mode it's definitely sharper if i go back to yeah 15 and then lift back off again i can feel the car slowing down harder than it was when it was on uh roll mode it is slowing me down as well on the other one basically it would you know it was not slowing me any more than this i'm doing 11 miles an hour down on this one i think i was doing nine on the previous one but that was because i was going slower again i'm covering the brake this is weird i think we've definitely gone around there a little bit quicker than we were but once again now hands and feet off completely off and the car is not going to let me crash. That's important. This really is hill descent control. And it's not any fancy Dan electronics. It's basically just the car saying, no, we're not going to do it. So we're going to spin around. Now, this is one where we really have to stop. Can you see the edge there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't fall off the seawall that would be a bad thing yeah whoa it just rolls again and if i lift off it just rolls again that is very different to the mode i'm used to and then back up the hill and we'll go down it one more time with full hold mode on which i suspect when we get to the bottom is going to be significantly better significantly better uh, for my nerves <laughs> than either of those two. I love this hill. It's a crazy place, Crivy. I mean, it really is a crazy place. Um, and it's such a privilege that it is just over the hill from where I live. And we'll do the same maneuver as we just did so yeah when you lift off it does absolutely it's letting me roll backwards so i'm in drive <laughs> i'm in drive 
and it's rolling backwards, okay? Until eventually uh, gravity uh, catches up with it. That was unexpected. Uh, I've actually ended up slat, sat across two of these logs. Let's just reposition that so that we're kind of back in the same place that we were earlier. So the behavior in the way that it performs just in and around this car park. And again, now it's just rolling, it's rolling, it's rolling. And then I've got to stop it with the brake pedal. Otherwise, I wonder, would we hit the fence that's behind? I don't know whether we would or not. I'm not about to test that bit. The last one we're going to test now is we are going to go back into dynamics and we're going to go back onto hold. And hold is the way that I use this car most of the time now, which is that it's a literal full one pedal driving. You lift your foot and the car stops. So here's the test. Will it stop as we're going down the hill? There's two other things here as well. The slip start, which is basically will spin the wheels up a little bit if you're trying to get out of the mud. And then you've got off-road assist, which will basically, again, allow a limited slip limited slip if you're on dodgy surfaces again just to be able to give you that little bit of extra control so this time i start going forward and i take my foot off and the car stops completely stops we are curving our way slightly downhill in this car park but it doesn't want me to carry on you see the difference we just stop we're not rolling at exciting speed around here we're going to get up to this junction and i lift off and it stops so let's go again. We'll go back up to about, what, 15 miles an hour? And then we'll lift off. You see the difference? Nothing. <laughs> we stop. In this mode, we completely stop. The other modes will hold you at 9, 10, 11 miles an hour, somewhere around that. I'm now doing 11 miles an hour, but I'm having to feather the throttle to allow a bit of braking, because if I lift off completely, see this? So, this mode, this mode is the least friendly of all of them for going down the hill. And I'll tell you why as we get to the hairpin, because I'm now doing nine miles an hour with, as, you, as usual, the mega view of Krivi but I'm now doing 10 miles an hour down here and I'm having to apply the throttle. And this is the problem with hold mode, is if you're on any kind of hill, the good news is if I lift off now, the car will stop, right? So this is the absolute most safe of hill descent modes because it will stop. If you lift off, you stop. It doesn't matter how steep the blooming hill is, you stop. But it does mean I'm having to apply throttle <laughs> to go around this hairpin bend on this ludicrously steep hill. Throttle, and that feels very wrong. But if I'm unhappy, then I can just take my feet off. And again, it will eventually stop completely. We've now gone to zero. That is sensational. If you're ever worried about a hill, ever, whether it's steep and crazy like this or you're going down a field or whatever, have it on hold mode. It is the ultimate in hill descent control. It's quite literally a dab of throttle to go. Thank you very much. A dab of throttle to go, take your foot off, and the car just stops. Gently, it's not abrupt, and you don't want it to be abrupt. If this was a loose surface if this was wet grass or something like that you don't want the car to abruptly go backwards because that's not good in this it will gently stop you it is the ultimate useful tool if you're ever worried about the kind of gradient you're on now again i'm going to go around here we've got this open sea wall okay the sea is a little bit further out today i'm having to apply throttle a little bit of throttle to pull it around here but then I lift off and it just stops. Putting a bit of throttle on at that point feels really strange. <laughs> I will tell you that. It does feel really, really, really strange. I think for gentle manoeuvring, you could argue that hold or creep are better. But again, I lift my foot and it 
stops and that is way better than before when it was doing really weird freaky rolling things <laughs> and rolling me backwards down towards those cars <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing again remember last time i lifted off and it starts rolling backwards in drive here it's holding me so i can sit here i won't sit here too long because there's people but i could literally sit here and do nothing else and the car would be quite happy holding itself hold mode is brilliant even if you're on an absolute lunatic hill like this hold mode is just brilliant just out of interest hang on here's what we're going to do let's just stop the car and change it and go back on to roll okay so let's go a little bit further up and then let's go mad so i'm going to take my foot off i'm now going backwards <laughs> in drive until eventually the car decides it's going to roll away again <laughs> eight seven six five four three and then i'm going backwards until the car decides it's rolling away that is just silly but we're going to change it back and go on to no not that one change it back onto hold <sighs> as i said roll does exactly what it says on the tin it will let the car roll it still holds your speed going forwards downhill to something sensible but it does let the car roll creep does the same thing but with a little bit more control on it the only one the only one that's really reliable if you don't want to die is hold mode thank you very much the only one <laughs> that you can rely on is hold the others might get messy <laughs> with the emphasis on mess let's get back up to the car park and wrap this one up See, a little dab of throttle and then it stops. For gentle manoeuvring, this is actually really, really, really useful. Far more useful than the lunacy, and I do mean lunacy, that we were getting a minute ago where, when we were trying to use creep mode. Have you seen that? I'm not sure what kind of bird that is, but it's huge. Right, let's shunt forward onto the next one. And this time, as I'm backing in, I don't need to be worried about the fence because it stops without me having to do anything. <sighs> I'm glad that's finished. And there it is. A very, very, very useful tip. If you really, really want to go slowly down a hill, put it on hold mode and you have got the best hill descent control there is on a Tesla. <laughs> I am sure other brands like Land Rover who have got all kinds of slip modes for hill descent would be better. Let's put it like this. I wouldn't want to take my Tesla down any of the grassy slopes. Going down the road that you can see there is scary enough. But I am very glad that my car has got smart features on it like that. So let me know in the comments what's the craziest bit of road you've taken your Tesla down. That is one of the steepest hills that I know. The fact that it's got an absolute lunatic blind hairpin halfway down it just adds to the excitement. And on that note, we're going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please, 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 if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you back here very soon on Just Get a Tesla.